Well, here's something that we don't hear talked about too often, but uh, I think needs to be mentioned, and that is the uh, pilot bearing or bushing. That's what supports your input shaft on your transmission. And it's usually, you know, incorporated in the, the crankshaft of your gasoline vehicle. Well, we no longer have a crankshaft, but we still need to accommodate the support of that input shaft. So we typically will use a um, bearing, stock bearing, and in this particular case we're using a bushing. We use these uh, on occasion also. And the bushing, um, this does the same job as the, the bearing. In a conversion, either one is acceptable because we're not uh, having the engine uh, running and so this bushing will virtually last forever. It's uh, impregnated bronze and uh, it's machined uh, to the specs that we need. In this particular case um, there's a uh, difference in the OD of this portion which is where the flywheel is going to sit and our uh, shaft, our motor shaft, on the coupler here. So there's actually a little step in there. And this was uh, machined so that we would uh, chill the bushing, slip it in place, and once it's in place, it's locked in there. And then it, can, it cannot go uh, this direction because it bottoms out against the motor shaft. It can't go this direction because of this little step which is going to be held in place with the flywheel once it's installed. And it won't spin because it's uh, interference fit. So um, just a simple way to do it um, depending on the application and the design of the stock um, pilot bearing and so forth. Um, like I said, we do it both ways. But I just wanted to bring your attention to the fact that you need to maintain some sort of pilot bearing or bushing in order to support that input shaft on your transmission. Hello, I'm Richard with ev for You Custom Conversions. You want to learn more? You want to learn about all the components in greater detail? You want to actually install the components and wire a conversion? Test it and drive it? Well, you can. By attending one of ev for You's three-day hands-on conversion workshops. You will get a chance to learn, discuss, ask questions about all the components used in a conversion. Wiring techniques, hardware used, safety, how it all goes together, and much more. But we don't just talk about it. We go into the shop and install the components in a vehicle, wire it up, and test it. After testing in the shop, we test it on our test track and in the industrial park where we're located. One of the vehicles we'll be using in 2014 is our sand rail. It's a blast. So come join us for three days of education and fun. Meet people from all over in a beautiful setting while learning how to convert a vehicle from gas to electric. ev for You provides lunch each day at great local restaurants. After hours, you can visit many of the local attractions, like Shasta Lake, the largest lake in California, Shasta Dam, the second largest concrete dam in the United States, Shasta Caverns. You can take a dinner cruise on Shasta Lake, take a walk on the Sundial Bridge, 
Visit Mount Shasta. There's night skiing available during the winter. Visit Bernie Falls National Recreation Area. Or go kayaking at Whiskey Town Lake. You can check out the source of the Sacramento River. The Sacramento River is the largest river in the state of California. And you can see where it bubbles out, out of the ground. We've got world-class fishing, hiking, and biking, all within minutes of EV for use shop. So we we'll hope you'll join us. So visit www.ev4unow.com and register today. The class sizes are limited, so don't delay.